welcome to Get Into Woodworking with me, Mitch Peacock. I'm just preparing boards for the next project, but before we get on to that, let's take a look at a joint that we're going to learn. I want to introduce you to the mortise and tenon joint. Basically, it's a rectangular hole in one piece of wood, a rectangular section left behind on the end of another piece of wood, and they slot together. It's very strong, there's good glue surface area on this large tenon and mechanically the joint can't move along itself because of the ends of the tenon butting up to the ends of the mortise. There are lots of different types of mortise and tenon joints. This shows a cutaway of a through mortise and tenon joint where you can see the tenon passing right through the two mortise walls. Here's a through mortise and tenon where the tenon has received wedges after it's been inserted which push the edges of the tenon out into a slightly dovetailed mortise and that makes it extremely difficult to pull apart. Here's another variant of a wedged mortise and tenon joint. This is a loose wedged one. A tight fitting tenon passes straight through the mortise. It itself has a, a mortise through it which receives a wedge and that locks everything in place. This is a little haunched mortise and tenon that allows the whole width of the piece being joined to be supported within the piece it's joined to and helps to prevent it from cupping. You can have mortise and tenons on an angle. And here's a mitre joint that has a mortise and tenon inside it and that makes it very strong. A mortise and tenon where the tenon doesn't come right the way through is called a stub mortise and tenon and if you want the wedged strength of a, a through wedged tenon but you don't want it to show through then you can always create what's called a fox wedged tenon. Here you can see the cutaway of two mortises. I produced this as a sample piece to show exactly how the chisel was working as it cut the mortise and I had a piece of glass across the front so that I could film it. You can see that video and videos for all these other mortise and tenon joints on my other channel. So for our next project, well I'm going to create a little stool simple little stool. So will have the actual seat itself, a couple of legs, joined together by a stretcher, probably with through wedged tenons, and we'll connect the legs to the seat with tenons. So looking from the side, the seat, the legs, the stretcher coming through, and the wedge. In the same way as I did with the box, we'll start with something a little simpler, and we'll work towards this. So the first one we do will probably just be a simple seat, a couple of legs that come straight down, and a simple stretcher like so. I'm going to be making mine out of this reclaimed decking lumber. As you can see it's still got the little grooves on the back. I've got a piece that's 16 inches long, about 6 inches wide and about 
an inch thick for my seat. The other piece is the same width, same thickness, and it's about probably three foot long. Now I'm going to get the two legs and the stretcher out of that. Feel free to make yours out of whatever you like. You don't even have to keep to the same dimensions. You can go larger, you can go smaller. It doesn't matter. What's important is the joints and the process. And I look forward to teaching you that during the next few episodes. Cheerio!